Many of us are willing to have the, the things that God wants us to have. But it's the crowd. It's the crowd. It's the thoughts of what people think. And so many things, the crowd of, and it's not just only people. Don't get it wrong. The crowd could mean, the crowd could mean culture. It could mean religion. It could mean stereotypes. It could mean acceptance that you're looking for. It could be your ego. It could be unforgiveness. Whatever it is, you have got to run your race with diligence. The Bible says, fixing your eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith that's that's who to set your eyes on not people if this woman set her eyes on people she would not have experienced what she experienced she made contact with jesus straight away she knew that she was healed glory to god and what i want to bring out of that is that you are the first to know when the power of god touches you Hallelujah. You're the first to know when you have had an encounter with God. And no one can tell your story the way you can tell it. That is why you have got to make contact, come before God and experience God for yourself. The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. The word taste there is a matter of experience. No one, do you know that no one can taste something for you? For you? If, if, if someone tastes something, they, taste, they put it on their own tongue and taste it. The Bible says it's implying use your own tongue to experience, my God, to experience the blessing of God. Use your own tongue to experience the power of God. Use your own tongue to experience the favor of God. Use your own tongue to experience God and stop depending on other, people, other people's experiences to be able to tell a story of a God. You've got to have your own testimony. And if you're going to have your own testimony, you're going to be willing to, to despise shame. You're going to be willing to despise anything that stands between your way and go for what you know. Take the jump. Take the risk. Because any risk you're taking, as long as God is with you, that God has said, go forward, you have nothing to fear. The only evidence you need is the word of God. In that crowd is full of religion. People who think, oh no, people like this, this kind of woman should not be coming in this kind of crowd and all of that. And in that crowd is culture. Culture says, no, we don't do things. People like you don't come to the public. Even if you do, you cannot make contact with people who are righteous. They are holy. And when you touch them, you defile them. Uh, so many opinions in that crowd. Now, that's what she had to go through. The crowd was, was they were actually touching Jesus too. They were a people who congregate around Jesus now the crowd in many instances can be it can even be church it's, folk it's so critical that we do not let people stop us from experiencing the power of God for ourselves people will tell you a million reasons people will give you a million reasons why you cannot do what God has called you to do you know, imagine she comes in and say all right so is has anybody here touched Jesus oh yeah she would have many Many hands go up. Yes, yes, yes. You'll get many yeses. She'll get so much. So when you touched him, how did it feel? What did you get? That's where she's going to go wrong because that's where she's going to be misled because most people are going to say, oh, yeah, we touched him. Oh, yeah, his, 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 his cloth is so nice. It's nice linen. It's so smooth. The things she's about to do be based on the feedback she had from people before doing what she had proposed in her heart to do. She would definitely have been discouraged because no one had touched him with the touch of faith. And if she had been conducting an opinion poll to say, oh, yes, I want to touch him. What do you think? What do you think? That was would have been the end of it. But she 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 knew she had a touch of faith in her and she went for it. She touched him and immediately she was healed. The Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. If you are going to please God, you must act in faith. They that come to God, God must believe that He is, and it's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Glory to God. You must lay aside every weight, everything that has stopped you from going forward, everything that has stopped you from doing what God has called you to do, especially when it has to do with people. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. 
look unto Jesus, the perfecter, the author and the finisher of your faith. Stop acting on what people think. Thank you. Act on God. Act on what God says. Act on what God thinks about you. Because he said, you know what? He says his thoughts towards you are thoughts of good to bring you, to give you hope and an expected end. You are blessed in heavenly places in Christ Jesus with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. How amazing is that? God has give you, given you all that you need. He has blessed you with every blessing that you need in Christ Jesus. Now your part is to go forward and get it. And let, don't let the crowd stop you. You are blessed and there, there is nothing that can reverse it. You are the only one stopping you from going forward. It's not the devil because God has given you all that you need. If you will press forward, press on, go forward and don't be afraid. You will arrive at your destination. You will be glad you did. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. I am, I've been really blessed by this and I hope you are blessed too. Thank you very much. God bless you.